Hi girls, this is Willa. I am so excited to continue our investigation. I cannot believe it is already our last week together. Did you have a chance to gather any more handwriting samples over the past week? I sure hope so. Were you able to determine whose writing belonged to whom? What were some of the characteristics you looked for to decipher if the handwriting belonged to a certain person? Today you are going to get to combine all your detective skills and work with your partner to solve mystery. Are you ready to get started on today's adventure? Alrighty then, let's go. Hey juniors, welcome back to the last session in our Investigation Await series. Thanks to everyone who joined Willa and me last week for our handwriting activity. Did anyone learn anything about themselves through their handwriting? Was it accurate? My name is Kayla Roloffs with Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. Before we begin today's activity, let's get started with our Girl Scout promise and law. If everyone could do the Girl Scout sign, we'll get started. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. For today's activity, we're going to take what we learned over the last few weeks and turn it into a treasure hunt. This activity calls for whatever supplies you have on hand. You'll also need a partner and something to use as your treasure. We've spent a lot of time over the last few weeks learning different skills that investigators use to help solve crimes. Today, we're going to use some of those things we learned to create our own treasure hunt. Start by thinking about some place you'd like to hide your treasure. Then, take what you learned over the last four weeks and come up with some clues that lead your partner to the treasure. Aim for around five clues and feel free to get as creative as you wish. They don't all have to be from past sessions. First, work with your partner to decide who will set the first treasure hunt. Don't worry, you will each get a chance to both hide the treasure, as well as find it. There are a few options when you are setting your treasure. If you like, you can select use either one object or multiple items. Then hide them around your house. Be sure to remember what and where you hide them so you can give good clues to your partner. When you are placing items, make sure they are not items that are typically in that space. For example, you would not put a toy in your toy box and then expect the person to be able to know which item you are hiding. Keep in mind that the first clue should lead your partner to the second clue, and that second clue should lead your partner to the third clue, and so on. Once you have your object hidden and your clues all done, give the first one to your partner and see if they can follow your clues to find the treasure. If you want, try having your partner come up with some clues and then you can try to find the treasure. Next, you will want to help give clues for your partner to find the treasure. If you hid multiple items, you can simply make a list of the items they should find. Be sure to be descriptive in your list. Rather than using the item's name, you could describe the size, color, or even the use of the item. Is there a way for you to write your clues in code to protect your treasure? This will be more difficult for your partner to read, so you should give a key so they know how to make out the message and start on their treasure hunt. Good luck on your adventure! Remember, if you still haven't written a letter to a long-term care facility, there's still time. It's a great way to send some love to someone who is currently isolated from family and friends during this tough time. Feel free to share pictures of your project to your social media pages with the hashtag Girl Scouts Give Back and then tag at Girl Scouts. Did you have a chance to do your take action project yet? It is really great when Girl Scouts help others around us. 
This letter writing project is a great way to join together with Girl Scouts across the country to share your good thoughts with these community members. It's like a long distance hug to someone in need. Thanks to everyone who joined us over the last few sessions. Will and I loved exploring the world of detecting with you. Once you finish today's activity, feel free to swing by your local shop and pick up your investigation badge to show off everything that you've learned. Cheerio girls! It was delightful to meet each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed our adventure together and were able to learn more about my country while you earned your detective badge. Bye for now. I hope to see you again soon.